everybody, and I have finally finished building this thing, uh, this DACA jet conversion, and I'm pretty much really happy with how it turned out. From the last video, I added the top guns. Of course, I created the barrels just like I did with this, with these other barrels here, and I just put them under um, cowlings. Uh, I don't really. I went through a lot of uh, design ideas on where to put these guns, and I finally find, decided on up here. I think they will look really cool up there, and it's a little different than other than the standard build that has them underneath the chin. Uh, having them up here on top like this is just a little different. Um, I got a lot of rivets here, um, and on the tail section, let's see. And I also finished the tail section. I went for. I was thinking about going with a V tail, um, but I didn't really want a big. A V-tail really requires a much more uh, heavily angled, like 45 degree, and I really didn't like that. I didn't want it that tall, so I went with a slight V and a little tiny uh, vertical stabilizer here. Uh, now these patch panels I put on, I didn't completely cover it any, anywhere close because I really wanted them just as patch panels. But instead of adding rivets, what I did was I did kind of copy the wings and uh, put little divots in uh, with the drill bit, just with the pin vise. And I kind of sit, as I said to copy the, the the design of the wings, and uh, I really like how that turned out. It's a little different than what I've done before, but the, and you can see a couple places here where I didn't quite stop the the uh, uh, pin vise in time. But considering this this is O20 plastic, uh, it's not stopping in time is really not the big a deal, um, and it didn't bend as easy as I had hoped, which is the main reason why I didn't really cover the whole thing because it just didn't bend anywhere near. Um, as easily as I um, was expecting it to. Uh, yeah, so I finished. Also finished the landing gear doors. So the landing gear is complete. This is just temporary because it is tail heavy. Um, but the kit actually comes with a little tiny plastic rock, clear plastic piece that goes in the bottom here to hold it up flat when it's on the ground. Uh, let's see here. In the hole in the front, I put in this little big sh this this big shooter just. To kind of fill it up, I could have done with a pedo tube or you can call it like a gun, whatever you want it to be. Uh, but it's kind of sticking out of the nose like that, which is kind of cool. I put the the window on so we can get the final shape of it. I'm very very happy with how this thing has turned out, with the exception of this patch panel. Um, I thought a, a big patch panel like this would look cool. It actually doesn't, and it was too late to do anything about it. So I'm kind of stuck with it now. I guess some paint will help with that, I hope. Uh, here's what I'm really happy with, I'm really proud of. And I said, you know, I, I wanted this hatch re removable. Well, I made it removable in an actual working hatch. Let's see, can you tw twist the handle? It comes right out. So what do we have in here? So we have a real actual working hatch. have this on focus just a second. So this is what I built. I just got a brass rod going through here and I bent a couple brass rods, got a nice crank from a piece of plastic, some guides, and I just turn the handle on the outside just like a real lever hatch and it stays in place. So I'm really happy with this. not perfect. It does work fairly well. Well enough to hold the hatch on. So I'm really happy with that, how that turned out. I hope uh, I left enough clearance for the primer and paint so it doesn't get in the stop it from twisting too easily. I think it looks really even so much better with the glass in place, with the, the cockpit window in place. And you're really going to be seeing the detail. And you can see the, the console, you can be able to see the driver or pilot, and you can see the, the hatch details in through the glass, so it's going to be kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to get some different views. I think it's just 
everything everything pretty much uh, turned out what I wanted. I really like how it came out, just in general, and overall I'm extremely happy with it. Everything kind of makes sense logically. I mean, there's no big giant rivets everywhere. Um, why would why would you do that on a if there's no reason to? Um, yeah. So that's it. That's the uh, finished uh, final form of the built DACA jet. Now there's going to be some painting. It's going to be painted exactly like my other DACA jet. Same colors, same blood axe style. So I'll have a pair. Um, but I don't know exactly when that's going to be because I got to get this cleaned up. I got to get it. Got to let the glue cure, get everything cured up, uh, get everything all degreased and, and primed. Well, that's going to take a while because this has a lot of intricate little areas to, to get blacked out. So, well, that's it. That's the final, final stage of construction. And I'll talk to you guys later.